All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I am going to be going over how to set up and optimize a Google local service ads account. Before we go into the setup, I'll just do a quick definition and introduction. If you guys are not familiar with Google local service ads, essentially with Google LSA, as I will call it in this video, with LSA, you're actually able to get leads on a pay per lead basis instead of a pay per click basis. So you see normal Google search ads, for instance, call only campaigns, Pmax, performance max campaigns, display campaigns, all of those campaigns for the most part are actually pay per click, meaning you could get a billion clicks on an ad, go to a landing page, not convert, whatever, you know, the copy isn't working, whatever it is, and you don't get leads. However, with this model, pay per lead, obviously, if you don't get any leads, you don't pay any money. So it's a great little model where you're actually paying for conversions, you're paying per lead instead of paying per click, which is great. A lot of contractors, a lot of service based businesses use this. And it's one of those things, gang, uh, think of a, a thumbtack, that is a very similar platform pay per lead if you guys are familiar with thumbtack a lot of service providers probably will know what i'm talking about but yeah let's get started so really what you want to do is you want to go to this url right here ads.google.com slash u slash o slash local services i know it's a lot um and then you will go into the account picker uh, in this case i'm just going to be creating a new local service ads account just showing you exactly how to get it done. So you're gonna see a welcome message, a sign up message, and then create a profile. So pretty much earn your badge of trust, connect with local customers, stand out on Google only through local services. Google guaranteed that you will automatically apply for the badge of trust when you sign up for local service ads. To earn it and get your ad in the local services ads unit, you must pass the local service ads verification process licenses may not be required for all verticals and then if you want to go to this learn more button here it's funny they actually mentioned they are going to be uh, having a more cohesive google verified badge for all advertisers coming pretty much pretty soon i mean less than a month october 20th of this year uh, google also says as part of this change google will discontinue the google guaranteed badge and many money back guarantee association badges and stuff of that nature um, and then as you can see here before i actually go into the setup and optimization i just want to read this really quickly if you're backed by the google guarantee and your customers aren't satisfied with the quality of your work google may in its absolute and sole discretion reimburse the customer up to the amount paid for the initial service subject to a lifetime limit the following are the upper limits of lifetime limits per customer in each country so as you can see here this is what it is and then for the United States, it is $2,000. So again, um, if you're backed by Google Guarantee and your customers aren't satisfied with the quality of your work, Google may reimburse the customer. Interesting. What we may reimburse for, if your customer is not satisfied with the quality of your work, Google may, in its absolute and sole discretion, reimburse, okay, we already went over that, we won't reimburse for add-on or future projects, damages to property, dissatisfaction with the price or provider responsiveness, or cancellations. How it works, if one of your customers submits a request to be reimbursed, Google will decide on a resolution. This decision is based solely on Google's discretion and is not a substitute for any legal or insurance action customers may take regarding a service performed. Learn more about how Google uh, Guaranteed works for customers. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys this really quickly. And here we go. So pretty much you'll hit continue. And from here, I'm just going to make a fictitious business name up, guys. Obviously, you know, I run Momentum. I run a marketing company. But in this case, you can't apply for a marketing agency yet on Google Local Service Ads. So just, you know, making a fictitious business here just to show you the sole purpose of creating an LSA account. <clears throat> let's say i owned a what would we do let's say we did a general contracting business right so check eligibility because some people may not have a uh, you might not be eligible um it's saying i'm already associated do you want to sign in or create a new account so i'll just create a new account in this 
fictitious business. So we'll create a new account. From here, we'll sign up. It takes a little bit of time. Sometimes it's a little, a little wonky, <laughs> but it's all good. Um, owner details. So uh, get more customers. Here's how a local service ad can get you more leads you want. Appear in top results. Only pay for calls and messages people send. So like I talked about, uh, you can only obviously uh, get charged from Google LSA when you get calls or messages and then build a local reputation, right? So let's just say, for instance, again, just making this uh, fictitious, if I was going to do Google, or I'm sorry, Google, Boil GC, um, I'll just put my cell phone, screw it. I want people to contact me through email, also through text message. I'll put my name here. Let's say I'm just a solopreneur. And let's just say I founded the business today. So 2025. Let's put our old office address. Again, I'm just using this just to show you guys how to do it. Pennsylvania, zip code. Is this a location that customers can visit like a store or an office? So this is very, very important, guys. So if you click yes, then this address will actually be visible to the public. So you have to think a majority of these service providers, maybe people who are actually watching this live stream right now, you may or may not be working from home. If you're working from home, you probably don't want people showing up to the location, <laughs> just knocking in, you know, weird hours of the night asking for services. Obviously, you don't want that. So what I would recommend is if that's the case for you, put no. Um, but if you do have a store or an office that you want people to visit, then obviously click yes. I think a lot of people just <laughs> kind of bypass this step and they're like, oh, I don't care. Yeah, yes. And they obviously have an issue. So hit no. <clears throat> From here, which I'll get to in a second, we'll go into the service areas. So obviously I'm based in Philadelphia. The nice thing that I really like about Google LSA, Google Guaranteed, is you do have full transparency to add any area that you want for the most part. So as they say here, set up your service area so that your ad is shown to the right local customers. To add an area, search for a county, city, or neighborhood. You can even do a state. Um, but what's cool is you can really factor it down by county, zip code, uh, neighborhood, <clears throat> excuse me, something like that. And then if you want to remove part of an area, click on a row and deselect unwanted zip codes. Uh, you can learn more how to target your ad here. Nice little helpful guide. But for the most part, guys, you can actually add in any area you want. So if I was going to add in all of Philadelphia, great. You don't give, have the biggest map here, but if I was going to add in, uh, let's just say Ardmore, boom. And then as you can see here, Ardmore is selected for its all of its enti uh, entirety here. And let's just say I wanted to not bid on Penwin. So you're going to have a red color scheme right here where I am not visible. Okay. As well, if I wanted to add in zip codes, I could do that here, which I just did. If I wanted to add a county, so let's just do for my Delco people out there, shout out Delaware County. There you go, Delaware County. And it's nice. I mean, you know, you have full transparency, gang, over what you can add and what you can't add. It, so I really like that. Just for the sake of this video and time, let me hit next. So this is very important. So select services you offer. So whether I'm, again, general contracting is a very, very, very broad term. So do I do accessory buildings, decks and patios, foundations and concrete, home building, interior finishing, other commercial projects, exterior finishing, home addition, home remodel and renovation, roofing. There's so many different types of niches here. You want to make sure that you're selecting the correct ones because if you select all of them, you will start getting obviously calls and messages for all of these services that you might not provide, which is very important. And then if you select other, this is kind of a gray area. You know, I, to be very truthful, guys, would recommend you call this number to make sure you get clarity on this. Um, I've seen LSA accounts where you're actually at, uh, you're able to add in like a service that you do provide. And I have seen other accounts where you're not able to do that. What I would recommend is call the 844 number talk with one of your reps and you should be able to get a answer on what that means. 
Um, professional license verification. This is very, very important. So for the most part, all, I'm not saying, you know, all of them, but many of them, many general contractors do need somewhat of a professional license to perform services. They need permits, they need insurance, stuff of that nature, right? So if you do require a license, excuse me, for the services you provide, make sure that you check this box. I agree, right? Because if you, again, if you don't comply, failure to provide may cause your ad to pause or you might have issues with it being you know, verified. So just make sure you do that. Now that we have the services selected, in this case, I'm just going to hit all of them. <clears throat> business hours. So this is great. Very similar to a Google business profile, guys. You kind of get the same look and feel. So I'll just do nine to six, Monday through Sunday. You can also hit 24 seven. You can hit 24 hours. You can do whatever you want. You know, so it's totally up to your discretion. Add photos. So ads with photos could earn almost 20% more leads. I think this is a very, very underutilized part of LSA. Um, I would treat the, I guess, frequency of you adding photos here to the same frequency of a Google business profile. So what I mean by that is if you're managing your Google business profile, which I'll get to in a second, you want to make sure that you are adding in the photos, the same photos that you're adding into the Google profile that you're adding into LSA. So if you're posting perhaps, you know, two, three times a week, make sure you're adding two to three photos to the LSA account per week, right? Show, and you can see here, this is what they're looking for. Show team member photos, um, show your team at work, showcase your best work, stuff like that. Looks really, really good for the sake of this video. I'll skip it. And then this is what your ad is going to look like. So Google guaranteed, sponsored, Boyle GC. Again, the nice thing about LSA guys is, let's just say if I was to Google general contracting in Philadelphia, the LSA ad is actually going to pop up first, followed by the regular Google search ads, and then the local Google business profile rankings. And then behind that, uh, below that rather, is the organic rankings with websites and so on and so forth, right? So as you can see, this is the ad here. Um, yeah, Boil GC, five-star messenger call, looks pretty cool. You can learn more about the onboarding terms here and here, uh, but for just the sake of this video, I am going to be hitting next. Don't wanna make this video too, too long. All right. So what you're going to do is uh, just for sake of uh, transparency, you're going to have all calls routed to the number that you put on file, as well as messages sent to this email here and then text messages here. Again, a quick reminder that if you respond to messages and answering calls uh, quickly, it's going to help your ad perform better. You can change your message preferences from the settings card on your dashboard. What I would recommend, like a general rule of thumb I, for me, for my business, I try to pick up every single inbound call. I try to pick up, uh, you know, if there's a text message, if there's an email, I try to make it where it's like not even like a minute, like 30 seconds. Like if someone texts me, I try to get back to them immediately. If someone emails me, I try to get back to them immediately. If someone calls, I try to answer the call immediately. Um, that's a little extreme, but I would say general rule of thought, um, maybe about five minutes. If someone, you know, calls you back, if you can't pick it up, call them back in five minutes. Even if for the most part, you can't answer right then and there, maybe hire someone to, you know, answer the call so it looks good in the eyes of Google. That stuff is very, very valuable, okay? So we're gonna hit continue. Now, guys, we are at the business verification. And here's another message about the Google Guarantee Badge. So what you'll do is, in this case, since I am a general contractor, I have six types of uh, things I need to fill out. Note, if you're like a healthcare professional or if you are a, um, you know, Health, healthcare professional, if you're a different type of business, you might have more of these boxes that you need to fill out and check. But just letting you know, that's what kind of it looks like. Billing information, you'll add in a card right here, pretty quick and easy. For a uh, proof of insurance, you'll just simply take your insurance document and add it here. Background check, you'll just simply fill it out. Uh, this is a company, they're called Evident. They handle a lot of background checks in the Google LSA space. So you'll just fill that out. Very, very important. Uh, business profile. So obviously you will add the Google business profile to the um, page here that your business is in, obviously. So you'll get that connected. Customer reviews. If you don't have any reviews to your business profile, um, you will need to have some. So you will obviously need at least one review to go live with your Google local service ads. Interestingly enough, 
This used to be five reviews. Now they're only at one. So I guess they're trying to make the barrier to entry a little bit lower so people can spend more money. And obviously Google LSA can get more revenue. So I'm sure they're crushing it right now. Um, as well as you can get uh, a weekly budget set up here. So the nice thing I like about Google is they are pretty transparent. So if you are spending about a grand per week, about 4,000 per month, you can get about 15 leads per week. And then obviously with that kind of expectation, you for the most part can put together, hey, I'm gonna get this amount per lead, that amount per lead. And then you can also calculate too, okay, if I'm spending about $960 per week, 15 leads, I can expect to spend about $60 per lead, right? Pretty straightforward and easy. Same goes if I'm spending 640 or 192. Again, you just do basic math. If that's how you can find the cost per lead. So in this case, for general contracting business, if I'm spending about you know $50, $70 per lead, and my services are in the hundreds, if not thousands, and I'm making good margins on it, why wouldn't I take that up on LSA, right? So that's for the business verification. Really quickly, I'm going to go into the leads. So obviously there's no leads here, but guys, this is where all of the leads will be. Um, I'm not going to go in this video on how to kind of manage the leads, but all I will say is you want to mark these leads as good if they are legitimate, good leads. If they're not good leads, you want to tell Google that so you can ultimately get the leads that you want. Policy manager, if there's any issues with any you know, policy violations that will be here. Reports, this is very important. So this will show, <clears throat> excuse me, the total spend in a particular time, the number of leads, the number of impressions. So i.e. the number of you know, times this ad has been seen, as well as the top impression rate, which is pretty much, it should be close to 100%. And then the absolute top impression rate, guys, is how um, often are you showing up number one for your ad? So this is very important that you want to get this to, I mean, as high as possible, but you know, I have people who are, you know, coming to us at Momentum and they want us to manage these LSA profiles and they have like a five to 10% absolute top impression rate. And we're able to help them get to around, I would say 20 to 30 uh, for the most part on average, which is a very, very big deal, right? Reviews, you can see the reviews that come in, profile and budget. This is where you can manage uh, the locations that you're bidding on, the services you're bidding on, the, uh, you know, added in your credit card. You can also do that in billing. Promotions, if you have a card, uh, gift card, if you have anything that you want to, um, like, you know, opt in, if you have like somewhat of like a gift card, you know, $50 promotion or $500 ad credit, something like that, you can do that there. Account access, this is where you can actually add people to your uh, profile if you need to. Obviously, I need to set up this billing page first and then I can add in people to manage it. The one thing to note is, which is very, very important, is if you have any uh, need for help, you can call this 844 number. This is just general support. What I would recommend is to ask to actually be part of the Google LSA partner program where you will have a dedicated partner, a dedicated rep from LSA to manage your overall account. Now, the partner program we have because we're a marketing agency, it makes sense. We have hundreds of LSA profiles that we manage. For you, it might not, I don't know like the complexity behind it. So I would talk to these guys first. I don't want to say something that isn't true. Um, and then your customer ID. So they're obviously going to want your customer ID. This is how they're going to know that you're you. And other than that, that's pretty much it. That's how you set up an account. That's how you optimize it. Now, I didn't go into some concrete optimization tactics. That's going to be on the next video. But guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, do yourself a favor and email me at sean at needmomentum.com as well as call our number 215-607-6482. If you have any questions regarding LSA, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, pleasure. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a great day ahead, and I'll talk to you soon.